Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise him, for he is your health and salvation. All you who hear, now to his temple draw near. Praise him in glad adoration. My sisters, we gather ourselves this morning and name Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we prepare ourselves in celebrating this most sacred mystery, we call to mind our own sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. We give glory to God in saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her. Nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold in view of her is a little sand, and before her silver is to be accounted mire, Beyond health and comeliness, I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things together come to me in her company, and countless riches at her hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long have pity on your servants. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Make us glad for the days when you afflicted us, 
for the years when we saw evil. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him, to whom we must render an account. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, we heard my mind, so to proclaim the truth of the gospel, worthy in the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witnesses. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, you are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then, come, follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard is it for those who have wealth? to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words, so Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard is it to enter the kingdom of God? Is it easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God? They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. Peter began to say to him, We have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen, I say to you. There is one who has given up a house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age. 
houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with precautions and entered the eternal life in the age to come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Have you prayed yet today? A very seemingly simple question, but one that is in every reading we hear today. In the first reading from Wisdom, we hear, I prayed and prudence was given. It's in the Gospel, then we hear of the man who asks Jesus, what do I have to get, be to be a follower? And he lists the commandments. But the one thing that he was lacking was that complete trust in God that he would take care of him. And the man went away sad because he realized that he didn't want to give up anything of this life. And that's where the realization in strengthening our prayer life daily is that to have that innermost connection with God so then we're not necessarily focused on the here and now, but we're focused on what we are to become. Because it was St. Pope Gregory the Great that he has the quote that the soul is the innermost face of God. And when we pray, we connect ourselves into that face that life of God. Or it's St. Augustine that famously has the quote, My heart is restless until it rests in thee, O Lord. This man today has a restless heart. We all do. And so the question is how can we pray for one another, not for the things we need now, but how can we support each other and help each other to enter the glorification in the kingdom of God. We profess our faith in saying, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He is sent into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in the Lord provides for all our needs. Let us bring all the burdens of our hearts to our Father in heaven. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may the Lord continue to bless her and protect her from all evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood and the religious life, especially within our diocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations and peoples, may the peace of Christ turn all swords into plowshares, resulting in healing and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all who bear financial responsibility for family, may God's providence free them from any anxiety. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For anyone in our diocese living through a time of strife, may the Holy Spirit bring peace and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have passed from this life into the next, may they be swiftly ushered into the eternal banquet of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, in your goodness, hear the prayers we offer and answer them. According to your will, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotionness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as once by the unity of the Trinity made by the body of Christ, the temple, the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifested as the church. And so, in the company of the chorus of angels, we praise you as a joy we proclaim. in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait to the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you forever. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. scorn and contempt, for I have kept your commandments, for your law is the object of my meditation.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you make us shares of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. I want to thank everyone for viewing us today for this uh, Mass that we have celebrated, that we may always keep each other in prayer, especially pray for those who are searching for the Lord in their lives and for all those who are sick. And we also thank you for your generous donation to the Hope Appeal, that this Mass is brought to you in your donations and made it possible to reach your homes today. And so the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Kingdom of God is justice and joy, for Jesus restores what sin would destroy, God's power and glory in Jesus we know, and here and hereafter the kingdom shall grow. Kingdom of God is mercy and grace. The captives are freed, the sinners find place. The outcasts are welcome, God's banquet to share. And hope is awakened in place of despair. The kingdom of God is challenge and choice. Believe the good news, repent and rejoice. God's love for us sinners brought Christ to his cross. Our crisis of judgment for gain or for loss. God's kingdom is come, the gift and the 